ready to read level two. Henry and Mudge get the cold shivers. The sick day. Henry's big dog Mudge loved Henry's sick days. When Henry had a sore throat or a fever, or a bad cough, he stayed home from school in bed. In the morning, Henry's mother brought him orange popsicles, comic books, and crackers. Mudge got the crackers. In the evening, Henry's father brought him gray popsicles, comic books, and crackers. Mudge got the crackers again. Mudge loved sick days. But even though he loved Henry's sick days, no one ever thought that Mudge would get sick. No one ever thought that Mudge could catch germs. But he could, and one day he caught a lot of them. When Henry woke up and jumped out of bed, Mudge didn't move. He didn't get up. He didn't lick Henry's face. He didn't even shake Henry's hand. And he always shook Henry's hand in the morning. He just looked at Henry and wagged his tail a little. Henry and Henry's mother looked at Mudge and worried. Something's wrong, said Henry. His mother nodded her head. Mudge must be sick, said Henry. His mother nodded her head again. Mudge, said Henry. Are you just wanting some crackers? But Mudge didn't want crackers. Mudge was sick, and he didn't even read comic books. The Vet Henry and Henry's mother tried to put Mudge in the car to go to the doctor. But Mudge was tired. He didn't want to go. Hop in, Mudge, said Henry. Mudge sat down on Henry's foot. Hop, Mudge, Henry said again. Mudge yawned and trolled on Henry's hand. Bath time, Mudge, Henry said. And Mudge hopped right in the car. They drove to the vet. Mudge knew the vet, and he didn't want to see her. She made him nervous. When they walked into her waiting room, Mudge started to shiver and shed. He did this every time he went to the vet. He shivered and shed. He always left a bunch of dog hair on her floor. When it was his turn to see the vet, Henry and Henry's mother had to pull him like a horse into the room. Hi, Mudge, said the vet. Mudge shivered. Bad day, Mudge, said the vet. Mudge shed. He's losing all his hair, said Henry. I know, said the vet. I'd better hurry, or he may be bowed before you can get him home. Henry's mother laughed, but Henry couldn't laugh. He was too worried. He was too scared. 
The vet looked at Munch's wet eyes. She listened to Munch's shivering chest. She felt Munch's shedding stomach. Then she rubbed Munch's big head. I need to check a few things, she told Henry. Can you wait outside? Henry wanted to say no. Henry wanted to say no way, but Henry said, "All right." He went back to the waiting room with his mother. He sat and wondered if Mudge knew how to say "ah." He wondered if Mudge would be okay. A big kiss. Your dog has a cold, the vet told Henry. A cold, said Henry. I think so, said the vet. He has a fever. His throat is red. He's very tired, and he keeps asking me for some comic books. This time, Henry could laugh. You have to let him rest," said the vet. Henry nodded. "And give him his medicine." Henry nodded again. "And don't kiss him until he's better," the vet said. Henry frowned. "Aww," he said. When Henry and Henry's mother and Mudge got home, Henry fixed a sick bed for Mudge in the living room. It had Henry's old blanket in it, and five of Henry's dirty socks, and Henry's baseball mitt, and Henry's pillow, and a stuffed moose. The next morning. Henry brought Mudge some ice cubes, a rubber hamburger, and crackers. Henry got the crackers. In the evening, Henry brought Mudge some ice cubes, a rubber hot dog, and crackers. Henry got the crackers again, but the next day, Mudge ate all of the crackers. His sick days were over, and Henry gave him a great big kiss.